Hi guys, I'm Shell, and I love to open collectibles. So today, I have a bunch of million warriors to open up. I think these are incredibly cool. They hit a lot of the notes for me. So first of all, tiny toys. Love tiny toys. Secondly, they're action figures. They have really, really cool details on them. And lastly, they have... It's the perfect sound. If you like unwrapping things or opening things, these are great. The wrapping is actually recyclable. That's pretty cool too. So, you know, a little eco-friendly. The power is yours. So what I want to do today is um, I have a bunch to open up and I want to do that with you guys. Number one, number one, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Let's see, who do we have, who do we have, who do we have? I think he's a one level, yeah. Okay, so the numbers that are on the back of these characters, they signify how common they are. Uh, so one is the most common, as well as their power level. Million Warriors is equivalent to Pogs in a certain way. Basically, you collect your characters and you have a little army of them. And you have a launcher and you launch your characters at your friend's army. So basically, the more heavier, bigger characters have a bigger number on them as well because they're going to do far more damage and they're less likely to come by. The only character that comes to my mind right now is from Marvel Comics Jigsaw. He is the enemy of Frank Castle, otherwise known as the Punisher. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right. I like this one. He looks kind of like a mummy, but he has a cape. Okay, so he's a level one, power level one. There is a cartoon from the 80s called Thundercats. There was a villain called Mumra. He kind of reminds me of Mumra. Let's, let's open up one of these bad boys. Okay, so now all these gray packages here, they have the commons. So the characters that have level one or the most common characters. These here, these packages have the uncommons, which obviously is just a little slightly less common than the commons. Rares, super rares, and something I think it's called mega awesome rare or something like that. However, these are the less likely ones. Okay, let's find out here. Let's see what we got in this. Cool. I love it. I love it already. <laughs> I love the characters that are made out of this sort of clear resin. I would say this, this guy reminds me of Mega Man. Okay, cool. Right on. Okay, next one. Let's back to some commons. Okay. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get here? Let's see. Kind of scary looking. I don't know what the influence of this one would be, I'm going to be honest. He reminds me... He doesn't remind me of anything. He doesn't remind me of anything. I love the detail in his eyes and the teeth. All right, level one. Okay, let's keep going. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Wow. Wow. That is really crazy cool detail. Some kind of snake, man. Uh, he kind of reminds me of Killer Croc a little. He's more serpentine, though. Cool. Next. What do we got? <laughs> Weird. Some kind of Cyclops guy with like horns, level one. I'm not getting a whole lot of vibes from this. He's kind of reminding me of the cartoon series of uh, Invincible. There's that alien protector, um, a one-eyed alien protector. I think he's voiced by Seth Rogen. <laughs> I forget the character's name. It reminds me of him. There we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, all right, all right. An angry cowboy. Yeah, wow. Hey, not duplicate. Right on. Okay. Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Okay. <laughs> uh, the color scheme is just reminding me of uh, Huntress from DC. Who's next? Who's next? What else? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Kind of like a, a jade warrior. What's that army? The terracotta. Terracotta army. Like a terracotta warrior. But made of jade. Okay. 
Let's open up another uncommon. Let's find out. Let's see. Let's see what we get. A lot of them tend to have a see-through resin that they use for the more rare. But this one is a bit more of a kind of an iridescent level 50. Nice. This reminds me of from Nintendo. There was a game called TNC Serve Designs. TNC Serve Designs. And you could choose either to be a surfing gorilla or you could be this guy that had this Aztec type of mask. Fonzie. You could be this Fonzie kind of looking dude. Love that game. Frustrating as hell. Ooh. Feels like this is a common, but there's some weight to this. Oh, cool. Wow. That's huge for a common. He has rocks embedded in him. Level one. All right. This guy reminds me of a He-Man character who had two heads, though. Also had swinging arms. One side was purple, one side was blue, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This could be Bobby Hill cosplaying as the Hulk. How about that? <laughs> there we go. Level one. What is next? This character reminds me of Thor. Um, of Jane. Jane's Thor, though. What is next? Oh, uh, this does look like kind of like a Mexican wrestler, right? What do we have next? I like the characters that have just a little extra something, like the wings or the capes, something a bit more in that mold. This reminds me of Baxter Stockman, the OG Baxter Stockman from the cartoon from the 80s, TMNT. Okay. Let's see. Reminds me of Cyborg, DC Cyborg. Okay. All right, this guy's huge. Uh, maybe a football player? Maybe American Gladiator. I would say he reminds me of American Gladiators. <laughs> okay. Little robot sci-fi characters. Like this looks great. Reminds me of like the Android uh, logo. There we go. Now let's do another rare. Let's see what we got. So this is a bit of a see-through type of resin. Level 10. Nice. Okay. There we go, another common. <laughs> Pirate? Sorta? Uh, swashbuckler? Alright. I think this is a different cowboy. We do have the other cowboy had different colored chaps. Another uncommon. Let's see what we got. Yeah! Yeah! Wow! Sort of see through. Also with sparkle in the resin. Kind of reminds me of um, Yokozuna. Oh, level 50. Heck yeah. Yokozuna coming through for the win. Going back for a common. You know, the commons tend to have really good paint jobs. Even though they may not be made of special resins, they put a lot of detail into them, though. Right. Another robot looking character. This one's designed very differently, though. Where's the other robot? This is the other robot. No, here, 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 this other robot with this one. All right. Okay, back for an uncommon. Let's see what we get. Come on, let's get super ultra rare. Now there is one out there floating around that's made out of pure gold. I have seen a couple of them on eBay. People selling them for five, six hundred dollars a piece. Um, so obviously they're incredibly rare. So of course we're always going to hope for. We're always going to hope for that gold one. This isn't the gold one. Although really neat. See-through. I love that. Another mummy type character. Pharaoh. Level 5. Level 5. There was a TV show in the 90s. A bunch of mummies came back from the dead and kind of had like super armor. It's actually pretty cool. They had really cool toys. That looks amazing. Be cool if they had some kind of show or TV show or cartoon with these. Hey, this guy was on the packet. Hey, buddy. That's Bobby. That's Bobby Hill. That's the Hulk. <laughs> Going to open up another uncommon. We're hoping for a gold. Hoping for a gold. Hoping for a gold. Hoping for a gold. Well, I'm wrong. Number five. Wow. Whoa. I don't know what's happening though. I is that a face? Are those eyes in the center there? 
Is it like a person inside, like a big bot? Common, it's common. Hey, okay. Kind of like the uh, Jade Terracotta Warrior. We have now a red one, but almost like a vampire aspect. Very nice. Okay. Another uncommon, another uncommon. Ooh, these are some interesting characters on the package. Look at that, can you see that? Another common. Oh, is it a Grog from Lord of the Rings? Level one, wow. Hefty, hefty. Not too many duplicates, I'm happy with that. Oh, did I speak too soon? Wait a second. No, this is different, right? What's this one? No, cool, right on. Okay, so it's not a duplicate. All right, another common. Oh, boy, that is not a happy looking fellow. Wow, look at those hairy knuckles. Level one. Yeah. Oh, neat. Very superhero looking. Kind of reminds me of Iron Man, to be honest. Looks like an Iron Man variant. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I thought at first that looked like E.T. And some type of a spotted onesie. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Haven't been getting too many of these multi-arm characters. Very cool. Looks like he's made of like magma. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, we're getting a lot of this mold, but none of them have been duplicates so far. So that's really great. I always find it creepy when they have cartoon characters that have like those, not just the elongated teeth, but when it kind of goes in like that, it just looks kind of weird and creepy to me. What did we get? What did we get? Hey, I know this guy. I actually didn't even remember his name. He's called Fungus Beard. <laughs> I have this character. All right, this is another common. And hey, I don't have this one either. Very cool, another multi-arm. Kind of octopus, squid looking character. All right. Okay. We have two uncommons to open up. Let's hope, let's hope. We're hoping for gold. Let's hope for gold, let's hope for gold. It's gonna be gold, it's gonna be gold, it's gonna be gold. It's not a gold. But, I don't have this one and wow. A character that's turning like a, an invisible superhero. Level five, that's fine. That's so cool. That's all right. Okay. Okay. This is the last one, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. We are hoping for a gold. Will it be a gold? Come on. We know it's going to be. We know. We know it will be. We know it's going to be. We know that it's not going to be a gold. We have another wrestler here. Well, we didn't get a gold, but we did come away with quite a few little warriors. These are, there's, there's actually a lot more. My two favorite picks, the runner up is, here we go, Yokozuna, the gold sparkly Yokozuna himself at level 50. We got a little bit of the gold feel, so that's all right, I like that. But the number one for me, Bobby Hill, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Hill cosplaying as the Hulk. There we go. It is a level one, but I have to say my absolute favorite. Do you guys have a favorite that I opened up today? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, my name is Shell. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.